law ever become a reality in America? Some fear any nuclear, biological, or chemical attack on U.S. territory might trigger just that. And as KSLA News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered, the clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem, us. From my cold, dead hands. Charlton Heston's famous declaration captures a truly American value, the overarching desire to protect our freedoms. But gun confiscation is exactly what happened during the state of emergency following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. U.S. troops also arrived, something far easier to do even now thanks to last year's elimination of the 1878 Posse Comitatus Act. That forbid U.S. troops from policing on American soil. If martial law were enacted here at home, like depicted in the movie The Siege, easing public fears and quelling dissent would be critical. And that's exactly what the clergy response team, as it's called, helped accomplish in New Orleans. Uh, Jeff, the primary thing that we say to anybody is let's cooperate and get this thing over with, and then we'll settle the differences once the crisis is over. Such clergy response teams would walk a tightrope between the needs of the government versus the wishes of the public. In a lot of cases, these clergy would already be known in the neighborhoods in which they're helping to defuse that situation. For the clergy, one of the biggest tools that they will have in helping calm the public down or obey the law is the Bible itself, specifically Romans, Romans 13. Because the government's established by the Lord, you know, and, uh, and that's what we believe in the Christian faith. That's what's stated in the scripture. Civil rights advocates believe the amount of public cooperation may depend largely on how long they expect a suspension of their rights might last. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12 reporting. And according to Tuberville, during Hurricane Katrina, the clergy response team provided 38 chaplains a day around the clock at eight different camps.